So today I'm gonna to take a question from a Sync Edge member and actually turn it into a YouTube channel uh, video because I think it's a really, really great question. It's a tricky situation that this member finds himself in. And I think many of you guys could potentially be in the situation in the future. So this definitely needs to be out there for hopefully everybody to learn something from and maybe um, get some wisdom from what's going on with this member. So this is his email to me. Uh, Thanks to SyncAge, I've been able to get into a couple of libraries, but I cannot seem to find a library that communicates well and is able to get placements. So both of these are important issues that a library communicates with you and they actually get you those placements. One library I'm with have gotten me several placements, but their communication is really bad. It takes them four or five emails to respond. That's not good. They don't have calls or briefs, so I feel out of the loop. That's also not good. Uh, The other library is super small, and I haven't gotten any placements um, or briefs from them, but they do respond to email. So their communication is great, but their placements are not good. So they're the opposite side of that. And the third library does respond to emails, but doesn't put out posts for their needs, and I have not seen any placements from them at all. And I've been with them since the start of the year. Uh, I've been tracking my tracks on TuneSat so I can see if something gets placed. Should I keep submitting to these libraries, or should I stop? What should I do in terms of the situation? So this is a really tricky one. So you basically, on one hand, have some libraries that are getting you placements, doing well for you, but you really feel like they're not including you in their conversations. You're not getting briefs from them. And definitely if it's taking four or five emails to drag a response out of them, that's really a worrying sign and something that doesn't feel good. And I don't think that's a great sign to maybe continuously submit to a library like that, even if they are giving you some good placements. On the other hand, you've got a library that's doing great, including you, offering you the briefs, answering your emails, being great on the communication side, but they haven't delivered you the actual placement. So it's like, that actually is the important part of this is I need to be making some money with all of this time and effort and uh, energy that I'm pouring into my music. So there are many different ways you can go in this scenario. So I can never give a sort of one size fits all, you know, always dump the library that's not communicating with you or always dump the library that doesn't get you placements. Sometimes there's a t- there's a time element to these these uh, scenarios. So sometimes um, there can be libraries that are just so wrapped up in a couple of projects that they're just bad at communication in this season. Maybe for this quarter, maybe for just for this month, maybe even for an entire year. It can happen for that long. And sometimes they just have to kind of clear their deck to come back to a sort of sensible place where they can respond quickly and adequately to their members, to their to their um, composers that submit music to them. Same thing with a library that hasn't gotten new placements yet. Well, you've been with them now, it's about like eight months, nine months. Sometimes you don't get placements within the first eight or nine months working with a library, even if a really, really legit one. It can take a year, it can take a year and a half, maybe even up to two years. So there also could be a time element on that side, side of the equation. But, you know, we, we wish we had a crystal ball. I wish I had a crystal ball. I would definitely use it. I would help every single one of you guys out. I would certainly help myself out. Um, and seeing the future on where you should be working, what library you should be putting your energy into, et cetera, et cetera. But of course, we have to kind of take that off the map because we can't look into the future. We don't really know what's happening here. But there's something that you can control and there's something that you should always be doing with libraries like these where you start to get some doubts. And we all have them. Every library I've worked with, I started getting doubts. So if you're having doubts with the library, it doesn't mean that you're with a bad library. It means you're a functioning, breathing human being and a music producer who maybe you feel stagnated. You feel like you're not getting communications. You're not getting the placements. Every situation you find yourself in this business, you will get there. Okay. Every library that you work with. So that's a totally normal process. So what do you do when you're in that moment? Well, communication, communication and transparency is always going to get you the clarity that you're looking for. Cause right now this member feels he's in murky waters. He doesn't know what's up, what's down, what's the right direction, what's the wrong direction, who's treating him professionally, who's not treating him professionally. And so it's very murky. It's really hard to figure out where do you go. So to get that clarity, you need to come clean with the libraries that you're working with and you need to let them know directly how you're feeling, okay? So the library that's communicating with you uh, but not getting you any placements, start off on the positive and email them directly. I love that you guys communicate back to me. I really value that. I really feel like I'm a member of the team. It's been about nine months I've been working with you and I haven't seen any placements on my TuneSat account. And I'm a bit concerned that I've been pouring a lot of time and energy into this music and I wanna make sure that my music is in the right hands here and that it's actually gonna get placed and it's actually gonna be useful for your clients. Is there anything you can say or do to reassure me that I am in the right place? This is a, this is a conversation I've had with multiple libraries that I've worked with and they've all, the ones that I've stuck with, I think pretty much every single one, I don't think there's been one that didn't reassure me, 
they all came back and reassured me and gave me a phone call or an email or some sort of a sense of, yes, your, your music is awesome. Your music is in the right hands. It just takes time. In fact, here's what we're thinking we're gonna pitch your music for next. Here's the projects coming down the line. And sometimes just this transparent communication can open up the door to have a library bring you in a little bit closer because they're seeing how serious you are about this and that you're just not passively yeah, sending out music to whatever and you don't really care, but you're really letting them know you really care about your career, you care about them, you care about what's happening here. So be transparent with them. Same thing with the other side. So you have a library that is getting you tons of placements and they don't communicate with you at all and it's really hard. Be transparent with them, be vulnerable with them and say, hey, you guys have been cranking out amazing. Again, always start positive. If you start emails on a positive note, it usually can land better in people's consciousness. So always start with a positive compliment or a note of gratitude for whatever they're doing right. And everybody's probably doing something okay. So you can compliment them on that. So let them know, you guys are killing it for the placements. Like I've gotten this placement, this placement, and name specific ones and let them know that you really appreciate that they took your music and they get it out there. Then say, I am also at the same time a bit concerned that it takes me four or five emails to get a response from you. I'm not getting briefs from you. I'm not getting, I'm not feeling like I'm in the loop with what your clients need. Is there any way we can improve that? Is there something I can do? Always offer yourself as part of the solution. Is there something I can do? Maybe I can reach out more consistently so that you know I do want to be included on those kinds of conversations. Is there another way I can potentially try to communicate? Maybe email is not the best way. Maybe phone calls, you guys work better. We're all different human beings. We all have different communication styles and strengths and weaknesses. So there might be a library that just, they're not good with emails because emails just stack up or some of them go to spam or who knows, right? But somebody might be great on the phone. And if you call them and they'll answer, that might be a way that you can get into their world. I had a library relationship that worked out for probably six or eight years based solely off of texting the person that worked at the library. We never, we, we met one time, we emailed a few times when there needed to be files transacted, but every time there was a gig, it was a text. Every time I would confirm that I could do it, I texted back, it was just a texting relationship. So if, if that was somebody that I you know had been emailing or calling a lot and they weren't getting back to me, I might have interpreted that as, well, they don't really want me, they're not really including me and maybe they don't really value me could be that this person is just doing business on their phone, right? And they don't look at their email. Maybe they don't want to have phone calls. They're just more comfortable texting what's going on because they're either busy or texting just works for their lifestyle. So when you start to communicate these things and let your libraries know what your concerns are about moving forward with them, you can at least have a chance at fixing it. And when you fix it, that's when things can go to the stars, right? Because now you've 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 overcome a big obstacle and what was getting in the way of you getting those briefs or getting those placements or getting communication, you might be able to fix that so you can start to really start to snowball your career forward. And on the other end, if they don't respond with a good answer or they completely flake on you and just say, ah, this person's just bothering us and they just don't even take your call, email, text, whatever you give them, then you know for sure, you get that clarity again. It might not be the clarity you wanted, you wanted to have a better working relationship with them, but at least you have the clarity now that this is just not a library I should be working with because they're not taking my concerns seriously, they're not trying to reassure me when I'm telling them I might wanna leave, they're just seeing me as maybe just another one of hundreds of other composers, so they don't really care if I leave, I'm not that important to them. I don't wanna work with people that don't care about me in some somewhat significant way, you know? Um, so this can give you that clarity to know that maybe these are libraries that you do need to move on. So for this member, can't tell you what you should do, but I can tell you in terms of, you know, should you leave them, should you stay with them, can't tell you that. But I can definitely give you this advice, talk to them, email them, communicate with them, get that clarity through those communications and then make a decision that's informed. Because right now, if you just bail on one of these companies just because they're not responding to you, but it turned out it was just a sort of method of communication issue, you might be stabbing yourself in the foot and missing out on tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of income because you just didn't go through this kind of uncomfortable thing of having to have a little bit of a you know, confrontational talk in a way about what's really gone. It's not really confrontational. It's really more about you opening up the doors to yourself and letting the people that you're working with know, hey, I'm having some doubts. I'm having some issues here. I want to keep working with you. You know, always reassure them in your email or your text or your phone call. Like, I want I want this to be a great working relationship. I'm not doing this because I'm trying to leave. I'm doing this because I want to stay. I want to be with you guys. I want to keep contributing. And I believe in what your company can do. And I, I hope you believe in what my music can do for you guys. But this big issue I'm dealing with is stopping me from moving forward with you. Or it's giving me a lot of hesitation, at least, from deciding should I keep moving forward with you or should I just find another library. Be transparent with them and let them 
kind of serve that ball back to you however they're going to do it. They're either going to reassure you and you're going to be like, yes, I knew these were the right people and I'm, I'm just so glad I finally just told them how I was feeling. Or they're going to give you, a, a whole, hopefully not, but maybe a shockingly, you know, horrible answer um, or not, or just dismiss you or just say like, you know, basically get lost, you're bothering us, whatever they say. If you get that, then you just know that that was still the right conversation to have because now you know what the right choice is. The right choice is to just move on and find another library. And there are many, many libraries to work with. I always want to leave you guys with this advice. You will not have your entire career locked up with one library. I mean, it's very, very rare to see composers or producers get with one library, stay with that one library their entire career and never branch out and work with other companies. Um, at least in my experience. I've seen, I've known a few, there's been a few that have been able to do that. But for the vast majority of producers, it is a kind of a fickle industry. You work with people while you work with them. And sometimes it's a year, sometimes it's five years, sometimes it's 10 years. But at some point, that relationship might come to an end for various reasons. And it's okay to let that one go and move on to another one. One library is not your entire music career. Remember, your entire music career is, music licensing career is this big, a library is about that big. So if one of them dries up on you, you don't get the results you want, you don't get the communication, it's not your entire career. It's literally one point on your journey. So you can find another point to go to and go to another library. And hopefully you guys can find many of those in Sync Edge. That's obviously what that service is for. So I hope you guys uh, found this useful and valuable. If you are struggling or feeling any sort of doubt with a library that you work with, comment below. I would love to read it, love to hear about it. If I can give you any sort of potentially helpful tips, I will be happy to do that as well. So hopefully you uh, comment below.